Hello everyone! Sa video na ito ay tuturuan ko kayo sa inyong week 4 solving problems involving parallelograms, trapezoids, and kite. Igagayt ko kayo sa inyong assimilation problem. Ito ay para sa mga grade 9, week 4. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Just keep on watching! Good day everyone! So meron tayong problem solving dito about parallelograms, trapezoids, and kites. Panoorin nyo muna yung mga nakaraang mga learning activities upang sa ganun ay mas maintindihan ninyo ito. Paalala lamang, inibahan ko yung ibang given upang sa ganun ay subukan nyo mag-solve at hindi para mangopya na lamang. Okay? So, dito sa number 1, a table cloth is cut in a parallelogram in which two opposite angles measures 8x minus 30 degrees and 5x plus 18 degrees. Find the measures of all the angles. So, meron daw tayong table cloth na parallelogram. Tapos, yung opposite angles daw ay 8x minus 30 degrees at 5x plus 18 degrees. So, ang hahanapin natin is yung measurement nito at ito. So, balikan natin yung properties ng parallelogram. Opposite angles are equal, meaning to say, 8x minus 30 degrees equals 5x plus 18 degrees. Ngayon, para makuha natin yung value ng x, pagsasamahin natin yung mga common terms. So, that is, ililipat lang natin yung 5x dito, mag-change ng sign, so magiging negative 5x. Tapos, yung negative 30 naman, ililipat natin dito, magiging positive 30. Then, simplify natin, 8x minus 5x equals 3x, 18 plus 30 equals 48. Hindi pa yan yung final answer. Para makuha natin yung x, ano ang gagawin natin? I-divide natin siya ng 3 both sides para makancel yung 3. At yung x lang ang matira. Ang matitira na lang ay x, then 48 divided by 3 is equal to 16. So, the value of x equals 16. Ngayon, ang tinatanong is the measures of all the angles. So, isa-substitute lang natin yung value ng x dito sa ating given na angles. Unahin natin ito, 8x minus 30 degrees. So, 8x minus 30 degrees, substitute natin yung x, papalitan natin ng 16 ito. So, magiging 8 times 16 minus 30 degrees. Multiply, 8 times 16, that would be 128 minus 30 degrees. And then, 128 minus 30 degrees equals 98 degrees. Ang measurement ng angle na to ay 98 degrees. Di ba opposite angle sila? Ibig sabihin, equal sila. So, 98 degrees din ito. Pero, kailangan nating i-check para makita ninyo yung solution. So, that is 5x plus 18. Substitute natin yung value ng x. Papalitan natin to ng 16. So, magiging 5 times 16 plus 18. Multiply natin, 5 times 16 equals 80 plus 18. 80 plus 18 is equal to 98 degrees. Nag-equal sila, meaning to say, tama yung nakuha nating value ng x. Paalala lamang ulit ha, pinalitan ko yung mga given. Upang sa ganun ay matuto tayong mag-solve. Since ang hinahanap ay yung measurement ng angles, so isubtract lang natin sa 180 yung 98 so, that is 82 degrees yung itong angle na to. So, 82 ito, 82 din ito. Next question number 2. One lateral face of the roof of this school building is trapezoid in shape. One of the bases of this trapezoid is 8 meter longer than the other base. Find the length of the two bases if the median measures 20 meters. So, ang hahanapin natin ay yung measure ng bases, at yung mga given ay, yung isang base ay 8 meter longer than the other base, then yung median naman ay 20 meters. So, naituro ko na sa nakaraang video yung trapezoid median theorem. 
At ang formula ng median ay 1 half times base 1 plus base 2. I-identify natin yung mga given para mas madali nating ma-solve. Sundan nyo na lang yung solution ko. Sabihin na natin na ito yung base 1 at yung other base naman is yung base 2. So, ibig sabihin, yung base 1 ay base 2 plus 8 meters kasi longer than siya ng 8 meters. Then, yung median naman ay 20 meters. Ngayon, ang hanapin natin is yung base 1 at base 2. By using the formula, Median equals base 1 plus base 2 over 2. Same din lang sila, na simplify na lang to. I-substitute natin yung mga given. So, ang median is 20. Then, yung base 1 is base 2 plus 8. Kaya, naging ganyan siya. Plus base 2 over 2. Nasusundan? So, yung base 1, pinalitan natin ng base 2 plus 8. Kasi ito yung given. Then, ang gagawin natin, cross multiply natin yung 20 and 2. So, that would be 20 times 2 equals, combine like terms, yung base 2 at base 2 is magkapareho, ba? Kaya, base 2 plus base 2 equals 2 base 2 plus 8. Okay? So, nag cross multiply, then mag combine yung mga like terms. Nasundan. Next, Multiply natin to 20 times 2 is equal to 40. Then, transpose natin yung positive 8, mag-change ng sign, magiging negative 8. Equal, kopyahin lang ito, yung natira, equal to 2 base 2. Simplify, 40 minus 8 is equal to 32. Then, kopyahin natin to equals 2 base 2. Anong gagawin natin para matira lang yung base 2? I-divide natin siya both sides by... 2 para makancel yung 2. Okay? So, that is divided by 2 both sides. Kasi kapag nag-divide tayo dito, mag-divide dapat sa kabila. So, makakancel na to. Ang matitira is base 2. 32 divided by 2 is equal to 16. So, ang base 2 natin ay 16 meters. Since meters yung ginamit natin na unit. Next naman is hanapin natin yung measurement ng base 1. So, meron tayong given dito na base 2 plus 8 meters. So, ang gagawin natin, substitute lang natin yung nakuha natin base 2. So, that is equal to base 1 equals base 2 plus 8. Substitute natin yung measurement ng base 2. So, that is 16 meters plus 8 meters. 16 plus 8 is equal to 24. So, ang base 1 natin ay 24. Ang base 2 naman ay 16. Okay? Para i-check ninyo kung tama yung nakuha ninyong sagot, i-add nyo lang yung nakuha nyong sagot, then i-divide nyo sa 2, dapat ang makukuha nyo ay yung median. So, in this case, 16 plus 24 equals 40, diba? Divided by 2 equals 20 meters. Okay? Next, number 3. A rectangular garden has a perimeter of 56 feet. Its length is 5 feet less than twice the width. What is the area of the garden? So, yung rectangular garden daw ay may perimeter na 56 feet. Let width be W. Then, yung length naman ay 5 feet less than twice the width. So, that is 2 times the width minus 5. So, aralin ninyo kung paano mag-translate ng mathematical phrases. Ngayon, ang hahanapin natin is yung area ng garden. Para makuha natin yung area, kailangan muna natin i-solve kung ano nga ba ang length at kung ano nga ba yung width. Ang perimeter ng rectangle ay P equals 2 times length plus width. Substitute natin yung mga values. Yung P is 56, di ba? So, 56 equals 2 times yung length naman ay 2 width minus 5. Then, yung width naman ay W or width. So, plus W. Combine like terms, 2 width plus width is equal to 3 width. So, magiging 56 equals 2 times 3 width. Kopyahin yung minus 5. Ang gagawin natin, distribute natin yung 2 dito sa parenthesis. So, 2 times 3 width is equal to 6 width. 2 times negative 5 equals negative 10. Transpose natin yung negative 10 dito sa kabila. Mag-change ng sign, magiging positive 10. Equals, kopyahin yung 6th width. 56 plus 10 is equal to 66. 
equals, pinagbaliktad ko na ha, equals 6th width. Para matira lang yung width dito, anong gagawin natin? I-divide natin both sides by 6. Para makancel yung 6, yung width lang yung matira. So, width is equal to 66 divided by 6 equals 11. Then, yung unit natin is feet, kaya feet. So, meron na tayong width. Ngayon naman yung length. Substitute natin yung nakuha nating width dito sa ating equation. So, that is length equals 2 times width minus 5. Okay? Next, substitute natin yung width. So, that is 2 times 11 minus 5. Simplify, 2 times 11 equals 22. Kopyahin yung minus 5. 22 minus 5 is equal to 17. Okay? So, ang unit natin is feet, kaya 17 feet. Ngayon, ang hinahanap is yung area. Ano ba ang formula ng area ng rectangle? That is length times width. By substitution, ang length natin is 17. Then, ang width naman natin is 11. Then, lagay natin yung units. 17 times 11, that would be equal to 187 square feet. The area is 187 square feet. Naintindihan? Next, number 4, a table top is an isosceles trapezoid in shape. The median is 5.5 decimeter and one of its legs measures 3.5 decimeter. If one of the table top bases is 1 decimeter more than the other, find its perimeter. So, kagaya lang din ng number 2 kanina, yun yung gagamitin nating formula. Yung table top daw ay so trapezoid. Ang given ay yung median ay 5.5 decimeter. Then, yung isang leg niya is 3.5 decimeter. Yung isang base niya is 1 decimeter more than the other. So, sabihin na natin... Ito yung base 1 at ito yung base 2. So, yung base 2 is 1 decimeter more than the other. Kaya, base 1 plus 1. Tindihan ninyo, sundan nyo yung pag-solve ko ha. Huwag nyo kakopyahin lahat kasi inibahan ko yung given. Same lang din ng ginamit natin kanina. Median is base 1 plus base 2 all over 2. Ang hahanapin natin is yung base 1. Substitute natin yung values. So, ang base 1 natin is unknown, plus yung base 2 natin is this. So, that is base 1 plus 1. Kaya, ganyan siya. All over 2. Okay? Sinubstitute natin yung base 2 galing dito. Naintindihan ninyo? Next, ang median naman natin is 5.5. Okay? So, 5.5. Cross multiply natin to. 5.5 times 2. Combine like terms, base 1 plus base 1, that is 2 base 1. Dalawang base 1 plus 1. Next, simplify. 5.5 times 2 equals 11. Then, transpose natin yung positive 1 dito sa kabila. Nag-change siya ng sign naging negative 1. Kopyahin yung equals 2 base 1. Okay, nasusundan ninyo. Next, Ulitin ko, 5.5 times 2, then yung positive 1, nilipat dito sa kabila, nag-change ng sign. Then, kopyahin lang ito. 11 minus 1 is equal to 10. Then, copy 2 base 1. Para makuha natin yung base 1, i-divide natin both sides by 2. So, that is 2 base 1, makakancel ito. Then, 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. So, base 1 equals 5 decimeter. Ngayon naman, hanapin natin yung base 2. Gamitin natin yung equation na to. So, base 2 equals base 1 plus 1. Substitute natin yung 5 dito. Okay? Equals 5 plus 1. 5 plus 1 equals 6. So, base 2 equals 6 decimeter. Okay? Nasundan ninyo. Next, diba ang hahanapin pa natin ay yung perimeter. Ano ba ang perimeter? Ito yung sukat ng lahat ng measurement nito. So, that is perimeter equals base 1 plus base 2 plus yung dalawang leg. Okay, kasi isosceles trapezoid naman to, kaya 2 times leg. Pareho sila ng leg. Substitute natin yung mga nakuha nating values. 
base 1 is 5 decimeter, base 2 is 6 decimeter, plus 2 times yung leg natin is 3.5 decimeter. Simplify natin, 3.5 times 2 is equal to 7. 5 plus 6 equals 11, plus 7 equals 18. So, the perimeter of this tabletop is 18 decimeter. Okay? Next, dito naman tayo sa problem number 5. The area of the paper used by Tom, may in dito ha, in the making of his guide is 60 square inches. And one of its diagonals is 2 inches less than the other diagonal. Find the lengths of the two diagonals. Okay, so may bonus question kayo. So, the area of a kite equals diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 all over 2. Given natin, area equals 60 square inches. And then, let D1 or diagonal 1 equals diagonal 2 minus 2. Kasi 2 inches less than. Then, hahanapin natin ay diagonal 1 and diagonal 2. By using the formula, ito, substitute natin yung values. So, that is, ang area, diba, is 60. Ito. Equals, yung diagonal 1 is, diba, diagonal 2 minus 2. Kaya, naging ganyan siya. Times D2. All over 2. Cross multiply natin to magiging 120. Kasi, 60 times 2 equals 120. Multiply natin to D2 times D2 equals D2 square. D2 times negative 2 equals negative 2 D2. Transpose natin yung positive 20 dito sa kabila magiging negative 120. Nag-change ng sign. Kung mapapansin ninyo, ito ay quadratic equation. Para makuha natin yung value ng D2, gagamitin natin yung quadratic equation by using factoring. Ano ang factor nitong given na to? Mag-isip kayo ng number na dalawa na kapag minultiply ninyo ay negative 120 at kapag in or subtract nyo naman ay negative 2 ang labas. So, ano yung number na yon? That is negative 12 and positive 10. Kasi, negative 12 times 10 equals negative 120. Negative 12 plus 10 equals negative 2. Okay? Ngayon, para makuha natin yung diagonal 2, i-equate natin ito in 0. So, that is, kunin muna natin itong root na to. D2 minus 12 equals 0. Transpose natin yung negative 12. Mag-change ng sign, magiging positive 12. Kapag ito naman, D2 plus 10, so that is D2 plus 10 equals 0. Transpose natin yung positive 10. Mag-change ng sign, magiging negative 10. Since ang pinag-uusapan natin ay measurement, wala namang negative na measurement, kaya i-disregard na lang natin ito. Yung positive na lang ang kukunin natin. That is, diagonal 2 equals 12. Okay? Diagonal 1 na lang ang kukunin natin. I-substitute lang natin yung nakuha natin sagot dito. Oh. So, that is, D1 equals D2 minus 2 inches. Ito yon. Substitute natin yung 2, ito. So, that is 12 minus 2. 12 minus 2 is equal to 10 inches. So, diagonal 1 equals 10 inches. Okay? Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, mag-comment kayo sa baba at i-share nyo na rin sa mga classmates ninyo para malaman nila. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!